dog at all. Just incredible. He must be part greyhound. Incredible <laughs> chest and so forth. Anyway, Marianne and I go to Mass on Wednesday. It's uh, um, uh, first of the year. Um, and uh, we leave. When we get back home, the back door is open and the dog is gone. Once that dog is out, no leash, it will run and it will run and it will run. And uh, Big River uh, Acres, Big River Estates is extensive. It's an enormous place. The dog has all sorts of stuff. But the last time, or yeah, one time when that dog was loose, it got up to a neighbor's house who had chicken, and he's an SOB. Has Mary ever tell you this story? Huh. Or Frank? And uh, he says, if that dog comes around, you got a dead dog. Well, the neighbor of this man heard three shots and reported that to Mary and Mary. She's a good friend of Mary Ann. So we think this guy shot Gus. Isn't that awful? Mm -hmm. We think he shot Gus. So this was just... Mary Ann this... and I went around the entire compound twice. Once right after we got back from Mass. So this is just this past Wednesday? Yeah. Wow. Frank must have been devastated. Well, Mary Ann was a, a scared to to even mention it to him. He had a guest, a dinner appointment. His birthday was the first. Right. And uh, she didn't mention anything about that to him and was waiting for him to show up personally. He took it like with a shrug of the shoulders. He knew that dog was destined for death. Yeah. Because of its personality, huh? Yep. And his...